चलो विच वॉज द लास्ट टाइम डी वी स्पोक मेजेरिया एनी क्वेश्चन इन मेजेरिया ओके एनी थिंग यू वुड लाइक टू आस्क इन मेजेरियम नो ओके सो इफ आई मीन एटलीस्ट वॉट आर आर द की पॉइंट्स ऑफ मेजेरियम और बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद दिस रेमेडी यू नो समथिंग रिलेटेड टू मेजेरियम एक दरवाज समथिंग रिलेटेड टू मेजेरियम वॉट वर द की पॉइंट्स ऑफ मेजेरियम एक बंद करो अगर बच्चे लोग आ रहे तो उनको आने दो कोई बात नहीं आप आ जाओ चले सो वट वट वर दी की पॉइंट्स ऑफ मेजेरियम वेरी गुड एंगजाइटी यस गुड एंगजाइटी इन एपी गैस्टियम एंड एंगजाइटी इन स्टमक वेरी गुड आई मीन इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम एंगजाइटी वेरी गुड क्रस्ट आई टोल्ड यू अंडरनीथ दी क्रस्ट देर इज पस सो क्रस्ट ओवर दी स्कैल वेरी गुड अग्रेड टू पॉइंट्स एनीथिंग एल्स एनीथिंग एल्स दैट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ ओके सप्रेस एक्शन गिविंग रेस टू डेफिनेस ओके गुड या एंड वॉट वॉज द एक्शन ऑफ मेजीरियम ऑन नर्व्स वी स्पोक ऑफ वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट पोस्ट हर्फेटिक न्यूरोलॉजी ओके सी रिसेंटली वी हैड ए जेंटलमैन विथ पोस्ट हर्फेटिक न्यूरोलॉजी दिस केस आई डिड नॉट प्रिस्क्राइब मेजीरियम दट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू ट्राई टू हाईलाइट Every post-herpetic neuralgia, you can't prescribe mesereum, okay? Or every post-herpetic neuralgia, you can't prescribe ranunculus bulbosa, okay? So this gentleman had uh, bad post-herpetic neuralgia. He should be some 75 or uh, 78 years old gentleman, okay? But you know the way he presented, he had lot of questions to ask. You know, will this spread here? Will this go up? Will this go down? What will happen? This, that, blah, blah, blah. So many questions he had to ask related to his illness. What is it that you understand from this? I mean, what do you conclude from the presentation he is giving you? Anxious. Very good. He has got anxiety. Anxiety about what? Anxiety is a big uh, thing in your repertory. When you open your repertory, mind anxiety, you have a lot of things. You'll be lost. There are so many things under anxiety. so anxiety health of his own he was very anxious about his own health what will happen will this go will this, and how old is he 75. almost 75 plus okay so the remedy we had given him was arsenic arsenic is also a very important important remedy for post herpetic neuralgia right and i also club post herpetic neuralgia with anxiety of health fine and the remedy that stands out strong was arsenic fine so as a fine student you should know just because i have told in mesereum post herpetic neuralgia mesereum will have its own acute totality or its own characteristic symptoms when we talk of post herpetic neuralgia artha kya gaya so there we had given arsenic fine there was a small case i wanted to share so moving further Uh, we will uh, uh, start with the uh, new remedy that i wanted to discuss see now what i have for you here is i have shown you a simple image okay i have shown you a simple image now what do you understand from this image taken from google thunder lightning okay yeah i mean no problem thunder lightning see there are few remedies in our materia medica which are very very sensitive to the electrical changes happening in the atmosphere okay not everybody will react to thunder lightning fine right? so there are few constitutions who are very sensitive to the electrical changes happening in the atmosphere okay so the remedy that we are going to discuss today is one such remedy in whom you see this person is very very sensitive to thunderstorm and lightning so this is the constitution or this is the person or the remedy that we are going to discuss okay now before we go ahead uh, as a fine student what remedies come to our mind when we talk of uh, sensitive to thunderstorm very good beautiful good 
phosphorus. Absolute red. Rhododendron. Very good. I'm happy. Yeah, good. Phosphorus, rhododendron. Anything better you can think of? Huh? Okay. Many carbons. Okay, no problem. Graphites. Okay, Pulsatilla. See now, the remedies, you know, commonly that comes up is natrium carb. Natrium carb, phosphorus, okay, rhododendron, natrium muir, silicia. Silicia is here. Nitric acid, okay, bryonia. As a final year student, if you start looking into your repertory, the list might be big. As a material teacher, I am giving you few simple remedies. What are these remedies? These remedies are remedies which are sensitive to the electric changes happening in the atmosphere. Okay. So, we will talk of a remedy which is very very sensitive. And any wild guess which is this remedy? I mean, see you have given me a list of things. Out of this list, one remedy is this. Huh? Rhododendron. Okay. See, rhododendron is called as yellow snow rose. This is the common name. If you just look at the image, the flowers. Okay. Yellow snow rose. And ericaceae is the natural order to which it belongs to. Okay. And the part that we use here is tincture of the fresh leaves. See, for a final year student, this information may not be very, very important. Okay? Fine? But what you need to remember is, Rhododendron Chrysanthemum is the remedy we are going to discuss. Is the remedy we are going to discuss. Okay? So, Rhododendron. See, when I spoke to you about Trillium, when I spoke to you about Mesirium, I mean, you had few points, you know. When I spoke to you about plumbum or many remedies that we have discussed. Now very important is whenever the word rhododendron comes, what is it a final year student should get in his mind? Okay? Now that is very, very important. Now to help us with this information, we have this pair of action. Okay. Typically rhododendron acts on the male genitalia. Hmm? Okay? A remedy acting on the male genitalia. Can I have a quick list of remedies acting on uh, male genitalia? Huh? Very good. Lycopodium. Oxalic acid. Uh, phosphoric acid. Naxvamica. Caladium. Good. Agreed. Good. Caladium. So, I will find it on the right. I will find it on the Bufo. Good. Agnes. Stephysagria. Chalo, good. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Good. Cantharis. Now, as a final year student, do you want me to differentiate all these things? Do you want a comparison? Okay, now you started, you can tell me. When do we think of Cantharis? We, I mean, I'm happy when your friend said Cantharis. Whenever the word Cantharis comes, what is it we have in your mind? Burning. Burning where? Cantharis, is, what is the sphere of action? Mainly urinary. Okay. Like, you know, for example, in UTI, in UTI we think of cantharis. But your friend said cantharis for male. I appreciate. But what is the indication? Okay, more than prostatic hypertrophy, violent erections, or increased sexual desire with frequent urination. It is a very bad combination. They will have burning urination, they will have UTI, and they will have increased sexual desire. Violent erections. Okay? Priyapism, if you remember. What is it? Priyapism. Cantharis is a very important remedy. Picric acid. Good. Picric acid. Fine? So, one remedy, cantharis, will have violent erections. Okay? How is it in Naxomica? Nax. Okay, mainly it increases sexual desire. Okay, see for Naxomica, sexual desire is, is an outlet. He's a workaholic person. Okay, he's a person who is mainly into work. And for him, uh, sex is a stimulant. 
Okay, so increased sexual desire followed by impotence in the later stages. Good, Agnes. Agnes. Uh, will Agnes straight away come to you with impotency? What is the cause for impotence in Agnes? Yeah. So in the past, I don't know if, I, if for, I mean I have used Agnes uh, only in one gentleman. Okay. Uh, till my uh, you know it's almost 25 years of practical experience. Male, I have used only in one case. You know what was the situation is. He was a roadie of this area and is newly married and he has come to me with impotency. Okay, uh, understand the situation. He has come up with impotency. And when we asked him, you know, and he was totally trying to tell, sir, a few years back, you know, every other day I need a fresh girl. He was a roadie shooter of the tail here. Every other day I need a I mean, I used to visit girls, you know, I used to visit uh, uh, prostitutes and every other day I need a different girl. That was the energy, that was the kind of a man I am. And today, you see my sorry state, I am not able to satisfy my own wife. Absolute impotency. Now, this is the situation you will have in Agnes. Absolute impotency and the, uh, uh, you know, if you just look back, they would have had very high sexual energy and they would have abused themselves sexually and the result of which would have led them to impotency. Now this is the situation of Agnes. Parts cold, parts shriveled, uh, zero erection. Huh? All these things we have it in Agnes. Good. Any other remedies? You are talking of lycopodium. What is one beautiful symptom of lycopodium? I, I don't know. I, I don't want to use the word beautiful. But what is one peculiar symptom of lycopodium? I know you will all start uh, staring at me after I give you the statement. It is not beautiful. Sorry for the word. <laughs> Sorry for the word. What is one characteristic symptom of lycopodium? Can somebody quickly tell me? Lyco. No problem. Genital organs are small. Yeah, agreed. Could be. Nothing. Nothing wrong. But when we are talking of uh, impotency, yeah, they have sexual excess. Good, agreed. They have excess sexual desire. No issues. Can you go ahead? Now, in lycopodium, there is a beautiful, I mean, there is a, there is a, uh, there is a, you know, uh, characteristic symptom mentioned. Impotency with wife. Can somebody quickly explain the symptom? Can somebody quickly understand the seriousness of the symptom? Impotency with wife. So no, no, no. See, understand, I mean, interpret the uh, rubric. See, uh, you know, in your report it is given in the same way. Male genitalia impotency partner with. Meaning, meaning, meaning what? With, with other women, he has good sexual relationship. But when it comes to his own wife, he has no erection. Okay, very difficult to get this. Which patient will come and tell? <laughs> Sir, only with my wife. Only with my wife I have impotency. With other women I am okay. Do you think a person will come and tell you like this? If it is, what is the second rubric that we are getting here? He is an adulteress. He is an adulteress pain, no? Meaning he is having, uh, what? Affairs. Other than his wife, he is having, uh, uh, it is an illegal affair. And Lyco is a very good remedy for adult trust. And what is the justification Lyco is giving? Sir, so with other women, I have good direction. With my own wife, I have issues. So that is Lycopodium, when you talk of impotency. Caladium, again a beautiful remedy. Beautiful remedy. Uh, acid force, you got lot of remedies. If you start discussing, then we can't start uh, a rhododendron. Okay, but, but my concern here is, when we talk of rhododendron, we are not talking of erections. Okay. We are talking of its affinity for testis. So we are going to another area. We are talking of male in general. Now we are talking of a specific area. And what is that specific area? Testis. Now quickly, remedies acting on testis. 
very good, good, and I'll pay spongia, conium, yes. See, you can think of any glandular remedy. Okay, phytolaca. See, but then when I say glandular, phytolaca has its own affinity. Which lands phytolaca acts? Main lands on the memory, main lands on the tonsils, thyroid. It's a different area. Spongia, absolutely right. And somebody used the word? Conium. Okay. Iodum. Iodum. What will happen in iodum? What will happen in iodum to the testes? Atrophy, which is the only organ that is hypertrophied in uh, iodum? Breast. Good, breast. So iodum will have atrophy. Atrophy testicles. Okay. When we talk of atrophy testicles, one more remedy, which we completed recently. Don't tell me trillium. Huh? Don't tell me spizilia. The remedy is plumbum. 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 Plumbum monster atrophy. Testicles, okay. Pulsatilla. You should not forget uh, pulsatilla. Archaicus. Okay, beautiful remedy, pulsatilla. Hydrocell, pulsatilla. So, here we have its action on the testicles and epididymis. Okay, two areas. Acting on both, it will cause inflammation. Hmm? Okay, so inflammation of testes and epididymis is what I have just tried to explain. Okay. See, uh, a second area that should come to your mind will be joints. Hmm? Joints, joints. Again, and if I start asking you what remedy is acting on joints, you will come up with a big list as a fine restaurant. Starting from uh, Actias Pekata, very good. I like it. Why Actias Pekata? A. A. Starting with the alphabet A. Okay. So you have Actias Pekata acting on the small joints. A specific remedy for wrist rheumatism. Good. So active spectra, then if you are going to B, you have uh, Brainia, C, D, you have lot of remedies. Ledum, Restox, good, very good, Restox. I mean, these are few remedies acting on giants. Okay. So, Rhododendron also has an affinity for giants. Mainly, like we discussed, small giants. Okay. Very important remedy for gout. Now the next question. Other remedies for God? Benzoic acid, Telapsi Versa. Then, Colchicum, good. Colchicum, Ledum itself is a beautiful remedy for God. Okay? Lycopodium. Uric acid diathesis. All those remedies you can put it. Okay? So we'll go ahead and we'll see that this causes inflammation of small joints. Hmm? See, the third area is the fibrous tissue. You know it is a connective tissue. Okay? Acting on the fibrous tissue, it will cause weakness and it will give rise to strain. Strain, strain. Other remedies acting on the uh, uh, connective tissue, ligaments, tendons, restox, ledum, anacardium. Okay? Fine? So, last area will be the nerves. Nerves, nerves. Okay? We have discussed last few remedies. Majority of the remedies having action on the nerves. Okay? Now you understand the variation. We spoke of plumbum. Agreed? What was the action of plumbum on nerves? Paralysis. We spoke of spigelia. What was the action of spigelia? Neuralgia. Very good. Neuralgia. Okay? So here again what you see is this is a remedy which can be used to neuralgia. We also spoke of mesirium acting on nerves. Any there? Mesirium also had neuralgia. Fine. Facial neuralgia. So here again, what you see, rhododendron is a remedy, a plant remedy, acting on the nerves, and the action is limited only to neuralgia. Fine? You don't see beyond. You don't see paralysis, you don't see conversions. Maximum you can see is jerks, chorea, nothing beyond. Okay? So for students who join late, we have started a remedy called uh, rhododendron. It is a plant remedy and uh, this slide is very, very important. Now this slide tells us of oh, the sphere of action of rhododendron. Rhododendron acting on the male genitalia and 
we don't see any sexual changes. But what do we see here is, we see it acting on the testes and the epididymis, causing inflammation. The second area was joints, predominantly small joints, fibrous tissue or the connective tissue, and the last area was nerves. Hope I'm clear. This is very, very important. Sphere of action and pathogenesis, very important. Okay? So we'll move ahead. Now, this segment will be discussing about the ailments from. Okay? And I've already given you an ailment taken from Google Images. What is this you are trying to understand here? Ailments from getting wet. Wet weather. Okay? Fine? So getting wet, wet weather, what other remedies come to your mind? Very good, rest ups. Rest ups comes very close to rhododendron. And in the end, we will try to differentiate rest ups from rhododendron. Only rest ups. Getting wet. Very good. Dull camera. Dull camera. And this cold weather, few more remedies. Calica. More than Calica, the remedy you should think of here is uh, uh, Netum Sulf. Wet weather. Damp weather, wet weather, rest stocks, but dull camera, uh, you know, net control, arania, a spider, arania, diadema, that can also come up here. Sir, what do you come in summer? Which one? Which one? Which one? Generally, wet weather. Which are the remedies which will come up in summer? Antigrude. Antigrude, good. Simple remedy. Brainia. Brainia, sorainum. Hmm? Okay. Uh, natums, sulfur, they all come under summer. Okay? So, uh, wet weather, damp weather, getting wet, all these things under, under rhododendron ailments. See, going ahead, very important for you is, which is this weather, I am trying to, stormy weather, windy weather, stormy weather, when you have lightning, when you have thunder, Windy, stormy weather, you can think of rhododendron. Okay? Very important and uh, yeah, thunder itself. This was the first slide we saw in rhododendron. See, going ahead, fruits. Elements from fruits. In rhododendron, they will mainly have diarrhea. Diarrhea from fruits. Okay? Elements from spring. Why springs are happening? Very good. Because it is a remedy which has an affinity for the connective tissue. And it can cause weakness and it can cause springs. Okay? Now last important area, or uh, last important element is gonorrhea. Anyway, we don't see gonorrhea after it. But uh, gonorrhea affecting, uh, you know, the female, I mean the male genitalia. Gonorrhea. Okay? So some five, six elements you have and you need to remember. Any clarity you want here at this stage? Any clarification? So two things we spoke. One though? Sphere of action. The second thing is elements one. Very important. See, material is a beautiful subject. Everything will be interconnected. If you understand this, then the next segment will become very easy. Okay, so what is that next segment that we are going to understand here? Though it is uh, a small remedy, okay, we have symptoms related to mind, few symptoms. So what are those few symptoms you have in mind in this particular remedy is very, very important. Hmm? See, basically what you have is, they are very timid people. They are very timid, very frightful. Any wild guess? What is rhododendron afraid of? Very good. Thunder. They become anxious when there is thunder. So, anxiety before thunderstorm, fear of thunderstorm, fear of being touched, fear of others approaching them. A better remedy? A better remedy? How is phosphorus different here? One second, one second. How is phosphorus different? Phosphorus, how is it? Phosphorus is exactly opposite. They want, they want touch. They want touch. A 
phosphorus child will be always holding the mother's hand or a phosphorus child wants the mother to press hold touch so this is exactly opposite of phosphorus okay touch desires magnetism desires is phosphorus okay now a beautiful remedy others approaching or touch aggravation is arnica arnica doesn't like to be touched doesn't like to be touched why they not like to be touched so body feels so body feels like bitten okay and any part they are sitting feels hard so they not like to be touched artha kare so this is uh, the first part of mind the second very important thing is rhododendron has good amount of confusion they have issues with concentration concentration difficult confusion okay and confusion on raising the moment they raise okay while in bed after coition this confusion can also give rise to issues with memory okay forgets words while talking i'll be talking something and i suddenly forget a word and i'll keep hunting for that word okay so oh, which word which word could be a rhododendron situation okay forgets words while talking and memory is weak this is the mind of rhododendron okay confusion anxiety fear memory issues concentration difficult clear okay so we will quickly move towards the particular symptoms okay now this is something that you can start uh, answering as a final year student so to answer this two things will become very very important what are those two things sphere affection and element flow okay now if at all there is headache what could be the cause for headache in uh, rhododendron yeah okay tell me now getting wet getting wet stormy weather wet weather these are the things which can give rise to headache okay fine right? and headache one uh, peculiar symptom you have here is headache aggravation wine wind you know cold and wet weather you already know but headache aggravation wine 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 okay and headache better by motion movement headache better by conversation which is the remedy headache better by conversation more than phosphorus phosphorus loves talking phosphorus loves listening to others but headache better by conversation the remedy is dalcamara okay dalcamara no issues we'll get back now any other remedies you have in your mind which is wine aggravation wine wine aggravation next one okay okay but nux likes wine women there is favorite any anything that stimulates them okay so there are few remedies for example you have glonane glonane what is the problem of wine with glonane is in glonane there is congestive headaches which comes after drinking wine congestive headaches which comes after drinking wine okay glonane and you also have ladan joint pains aggravation after consuming wine ladan okay uh, there are remedies like fluoric acid surprisingly uh, fluoric acid but a specific wine that aggravates fluoric acid is red wine i don't know the varieties of wines but anyway red wine is what aggravates in fluoric acid but fluoric acid is also by you know or uh, any quick input of fluoric acid very simple boy boy say no attachment fine okay they will not get attached to anybody fine for example even women fluoric acid will get bored with a single woman many times they not marry and you know uh, the cause the reason given is how can you stay the entire life with a single lady kisi ka wo acha rehta hai kisi ka ye acha rehta hai how can you stay with a single lady the entire life is uh, the uh, puzzle 
this holy person will have in front of you. No attachments. Very superficial. Fine. So fluoric acid. Exactly opposite uh, will be, you know, people are more attached, more grounded, there will be more of magnesiums. Magnesiums are more grounded. Magnesiums need people. Fluoric acid will not like people. I mean, not like people, but you know, they don't keep uh, a deep bonding. They don't have those attachments. Fine. Fluoric acid uh, daughter, she is happy going away from the mother to her husband's house. I mean, you don't see that uh, drama of, uh, you know, when the bidai happens. Mother is crying, uh, the lady is crying, the uh, brother is running, uh, you know, behind the car. I mean, all those things you don't see. I mean, she's, uh, I don't know if she's practical or, uh, I mean, she's fine. She's okay. Because she never had that kind of attachment with the mother. That she feels bad that she's getting detached. You're getting my point. Only if you are attached, you get the pain of detachment, no? When you are not at all attached, how will detachment make an issue for you? Fine? So, fluoric acid. Okay, no, it's a beautiful remedy, we will take it up some other day. Easily intoxicated. You should have seen people, you know, they would have taken little quantity of something and then they start becoming high and uh, they start uh, uh, acting. So, not acting, they start uh, getting it. So, people will get easily intoxicated. Bovista Ponyam. Okay? And uh, blood ebullition is salicia. Okay? Blushes after a little wine. Carbovage. These are few remedies, you know, which has uh, wine aggravation. As a finally student, you should know. Okay? Vertigo. Now, vertigo also you have something very important. Moving about amelirates. Vertigo aggravation lying in bed. Hmm? So under head, we are speaking about two very important things. One is the headache part, and the second very important thing is vertigo. Vertigo. Okay. Uh, I. One of your friend was talking of uh, ciliary headaches, ciliary neuralgia, cluster headaches, ciliary neuralgia. Involving the orbit, eyeball and head. Okay? Ciliary neuralgia, aggravation before storm. Which was the other remedy we spoke about uh, very recently about uh, ciliary neuralgia? Spigelia. Spigelia. Okay? Left side. And uh, this remedy also has uh, facial neuralgia. Hmm? See, majority of the conditions in rhododendron the ailments are all the same. What are all the ailments? Thunderstorm, exposure to wet weather, getting wet, stormy weather. This will remain common for all the complaints in rhododendron. Okay? So, trijamana neuralgia, pain from temple to the lower jaw and chin. Here. Mainly right side, aggravation, wind, storm, Eating and warm amelirates. Eating and warm amelirates. Okay? So even mesilium has this? Yeah. Mesilium also has... Uh, we also spoke of spigelia. We also spoke of spigelia. Now, how is it different from uh, uh, spigelia? Spigelia performs the attacks of the left hand. So, I am uh, pointing towards something. Spigelia was predominantly left hand. Here, what do you see is... Rhododendron is mainly right side, right side, okay? And uh, I was talking to you about toothache. What was the aggravating factor in mesirium toothache? By movement. More than movement? So what? Right okay, what was ameliorating? Blowing, blowing in air, taking in air, aggravates. What's what we had in mesirium? And uh, what was ameliorating? Warmth. Warmth of the stove. Okay? So, in cold, wet weather, same things, you know, you see here. Amelioration, eating and warmth. Hmm? Okay? Now, what is it I am trying to focus? Diarrhea. What was the cause for diarrhea? Fruits. Very good. See, the 
character of stool in uh, rhododendra is uh, liantic stools. What is liantic stools? When you have undigested food passing in this stool, when you have undigested food passing in this stool, okay, that is considered to be as liantic stools. Hmm? Okay, so liantic stools and uh, uh, fruits causing diarrhea. Any other remedies you can think of? Diarrhea from fruits. More than phosphorus. Fruits causing diarrhea. Huh? So you have arsenic, you have china, you have pulsatilla, you have uh, colosin, bryonia, natrium sulfurate. Repertory to give some 20 plus remedies. I have just picked the three mark remedies for you so that you should remember. But there are plenty of remedies. Rectum, diarrhea, stool strong. You have plenty of remedies. Okay? So, <coughs> we will uh, focus on a very important area. Hmm? See, clinically, you know, many practitioners, they can share uh, rhododendra, you know, in this area. So, what is this area that we are trying to focus is the affinity of rhododendra on the male genitalia. Like I initially told you, we are not looking at the sexual desire, we are not looking at the erections, right? We are not looking at the premature ejaculation, all those things you don't have in rhododendra. So, what is it you have in rhododendra is its affinity for the testicles and epididymis. So, what is happening in rhododendron? It will cause inflammation. So, what do you have? You have arthritis, okay, and epididymitis, hydrocele, very good. Hydrocele, there is something very interesting in rhododendron. Hydrocele from birth. What is this? Hydrocele from birth. Uh, I, I don't know if I remember, it should be from Fatax. I have taken this symptom. He says, Hydrocele in boys from birth. Okay? Rhododendron. Hmm? Okay. So, uh, Hydrocele, Arpedis, Epididymitis, after gonorrhea. What did we see under ailments? Ailments from gonorrhea. So, gonorrhea, after gonorrhea, if the testicles are uh, affected, a better remedy is is pulsatile. Pulsatile. Tuja also has bad effects of gonorrhea. I have got nothing. But when it is arthritis, after gonorrhea, the remedy will be pulsatile. Pulsatile. Okay. So, what, what do we have here relating, related to arthritis? Crushing pain. Anyway, I'll just read it after some time. Crushing pain in the testicles, one. And after arthritis, the testicles will be atrophic. Okay? Fine. Atrophic testicles after arthritis. Hmm? So, pain in testicles as if it is crushed, and then you have pain in right testis extending to the abdomen and thighs. You are getting this point? Pain in testis going up or shooting down, extending up into the abdomen or going down to the thighs. Hmm? Okay. And hydrocele in boys from birth. Okay, must be just one more point there. Yeah. Chronic induration where testis atrophy. Okay. Clear? Chronic induration where testis atrophy. These are few symptoms related to the male genitalia of rhododendron. Hmm? Okay. Any quick questions? See, there is uh, something called as congenital hydrocell. Okay. Uh, uh, must be, if you remember your uh, surgery class, if you try to recall that you have, what you have studied in your surgery, fine. Right? So, you know, where you have hydrocell. See, ideally, they do what? They drain out the fluid. Okay. But uh, homeopathy, if you look at uh, the literature, there are few remedies which can help in uh, 
uh, you know, absorbing this fluid and uh, bringing the scrotum back to shape. Hmm? Okay. <coughs> Personally, I don't have any experience treating uh, hydrocell, but uh, you know, mm, literature claims. Okay, uh, you know, very good uh, medicines, pulsatilla, calcarea, rhododendron. Okay. Uh, as remedies for uh, hydrocell. Hmm? Now, not only male, rhododendron also has an action on the female, female genitalia. Like testes, it has an affinity for ovaries, ovaries. Which side you saw rhododendron affecting? Right side. So, from the books what I have got is, right ovarian cyst. Right? So, right sided ovarian cyst, right ovarian cyst and serous cyst in the vagina, hmm? serous cyst in the vagina. See here, you don't have much information related to the menses, menorrhagia, metorrhagia, DUV, abortions, all those things you don't have in rhododendron. What you have is uh, right sided ovarian cyst and uh, cyst in the vagina, must okay. Now, a characteristic symptom in uh, rhododendron. Can you just interpret this image? I don't know how uh, clear the image is, but what do you see here? Lying on, very good, lying down with uh, legs crossed. How do you look this uh, symptom in your repertory? As a fine day student, you should parallelly understand the skill of uh, hunting symptoms in your repertory. Patients will come and give you vague, vague symptoms. The more vague, the more characteristic symptoms they give, the more it is easy for a homeopath. But how do you hunt for those rubrics in your repertory also will become very important. Okay. Now somebody says, sir, I get sleep only if I uh, you know, keep my legs crossed. Otherwise, I don't get sleep. There are patients who come and tell, Sir, if I keep my hand over my forehead, I get sleep. If somebody removes, I get up. And I sleep on my abdomen. I sleep like this, I sleep like that. Different things they give you. But how do you look for those things in your repertory? Very good. Sleep, position, good or great. Limbs. Limbs. Crossed. Okay. There are three remedies. See how beautiful it is. If somebody is coming and telling you, sir, I sleep in only this position, otherwise I don't get sleep, your search is very easy. You will be searching under three remedies. Which are those three remedies? One is rhododendron, second one is tuja, and third, if I am right, is califos. Only three remedies. Okay? You have another beautiful situation. Yeah, califos, correct. You have another beautiful situation. Can somebody quickly interpret this? Huh? Okay, okay, no problem. Quickly interpret. What is this? Huh? Since childhood. Okay. See, I can get images to mislead you. Huh? What is it? Okay, more than that. You are missing something very simple. For me it might look simple because I have, uh, uh, you know, what selected this image. See, what you saw here was crossing. And where is the crossing happening here? At the ankle. Ankle. So, see, for example, I am standing like this. If you see my, I can't come there. I, I know, okay, fine. See, for example, what am I doing? I was standing like that in this position. What am I trying to do? Where am I crossing my legs? I am crossing my legs at the level of ankle. So, people who sleep crossing their legs at ankle, you getting this symptom? So, crossing their legs at ankle and sleeping, the only remedy we have in our materia medica is rhododendron. Single remedy. Okay? Fine? So to misguide you, I got this child, infant uh, thing. 
Okay. Sleeps with leg, legs crossed at ankles. Only remedy is shoulder dental. Hmm. Okay. Oh, fine. Now, any questions here? Or we'll just have a quick revision and then we will uh, try to take up the last uh, component of uh, rhododendron. We spoke of head. What did we discuss under head? No, no. Whoa. First of all, what happens under head? You have two things. You have headache and you have vertigo. Headache, what is the aggravating factor? Wine. Wine, good. And what is the ameliorating factor? Motion. Same applies to vertigo also. The ameliorating factor is motion. The aggravation is lying in bed. Lying in bed. Okay. And then we spoke of uh, ciliary neuralgia. Okay. And then we also spoke of facial neuralgia. Pain extending from temple to the chin. Yeah, jaw and chin. Which side? Right side. Okay. Then we spoke of toothache. Toothache amelioration, eating and Warm, warm. Diarrhea from fruits. Arthritis after gonorrhea. What is the pain type of pain? Patient feels as if it is crushed. Good. And what will happen to the testicles? Atrophy. Okay. And uh, you also have hydrosis since birth. Since birth. Okay. Male. Under female. Which side? Right side. Right side. Good. And serious this in the vagina. Very good. And sleep, what we saw? Cross leg at ankle. Only remedy. Or sleep with legs cross. Three remedies. Rhododendron is one among those three remedies. The other two being? Tuja and Kalifos. Very good. Now the last area is? Is rheumatism. Rheumatism, before we started, what did we discuss? Yes, good, small giants. Goat, good, goat, goat. And naturally, when is the rheumatism more? You all know what causes rheumatism? Which are there? There is something very peculiar in uh, rhododendron. Rheumatism in summer. Okay. Rheumatism in summer. Rheumatism in hot season. Okay. Swollen joints, goaty, inflammation of great toe. Naturally, you know, as a common symptom of gout, you know the affinity is more for the great toe. What is the character of pain? Wandering. Pains keep shifting from one joint to another joint. Which is the other remedy? Pulsatilla, ledum, colchicum. Okay, wandering is Kali. Kali, bike. Kali group in general. Wandering pains, drawing pains and tearing pains. Chronic rheumatism of small hands. Pain in heel, pain in bones in spots. Pain in spots. Other remedies? Ignisha. Ignisha is the top remedy. Second top remedy? Calibite. Third top remedy? Oxalic acid. First is Ignisha, second is Calibite. Oxalic acid. And then there are a list of remedies given in your repertory. Okay? Now, what is the speciality of rhododendron? Where is the pain in spots? Bones. In Ignisha, pain in spots can be here. Pain in spots can be anywhere. In rhododendron, pain in spots is specifically over bones. The entire bone is not pain. Okay. A spot of the bone is pain. That is rhododendron. Okay. And uh, Aggravation, change of weather, wet weather, stormy weather, amelioration, motion and heat. Okay. What other remedies you want to compare? Giants. Good. Restox. Del camera. Let them. Okay. We we'll limit to these three. If time permits, we will take up other remedies. How do you differentiate this from Restox? Uh, what is common between uh, rhododendron and Restox? Ailments. Ailments. Okay. Fine. Ailments are common. Okay. Now, what is the differentiating factor? Aggravation. Aggravation rest. Uh, even this, you know, aggravation rest is not mentioned. Okay. Probably the thunderstorm factor is more 
prominent in rhododendron. Okay. Now what you see is the modality here, heat, in both heater amelinate. Here the affinity is only for small giants. In Rustox it can be for large giants also. Okay. And most important thing in Rustox is what? What? Initial movement aggravates. Initial movement aggravates. Prolonged movement amelinates. The typical modality is not there in rhododendron. Both are chilly. Okay. Both have elements from wet weather. Both are from plant source. Both have an affinity for giants, fibrous tissue. Those are all the common factors. Okay. Fine. The pain in restocks is more as if it has been scraped. Yeah, as if you know it has been scraped with knife. Here it is more of uh, wandering, tearing, drawing pains. Okay. How is it different from leather? Okay. Ascending, diagonal affections, good. Here, here, better by heat. In leather it is exactly opposite. Better by cold. Keeping leg in cold water, keeping leg in on some cold surface, they feel better. That is leather. Leather. Dalcamera. What is common between uh, rhododendron and dalcamera is they are more of uh, change of weather, wet weather, all these things. Dulk also has giant affections. But if you see the dulk pathology, dulk will have more of respiratory. Dulk will have more of respiratory. You have more of nose block, you have more of cough, you have more of wheezing coming because of uh, cold and wet weather. Okay. Hmm? So, before we take up modalities, the key points of rhododendron, whenever the dulk rhododendron comes in front of us, as a final year student or when you start practicing, very important will be the male genitalia, okay, the giants, okay, and, and nerves. For example, nerves, it is mainly neuralgia. It can be toothache, it can be facial neuralgia, or it can be chorea or jerky movements. Okay. And that affinity for uh, cold, wet weather. People who react to cold wet weather, they can be more of rhododendron. Okay? So the modalities, you know, storm, rough, windy, cold weather, night, midsummer, wine, rest, eating fruit, getting wet, catching cold. What aggravates wine? What is the aggravating factor? Good headache. And similarly, if you look at eating fruit, daily, daily. Okay? Now what are all the ameliorating factors? After storm breaks, heat in sun, when sun shines, motion, wrapping head. These are all the ameliorating factors. Now only thing that, that gets aggravated in hot weather is rheumatism. Otherwise all other complaints are better by heat. Okay? Now clinically, where can you think of rhododendron? This can be a small activity for a minute or two. Yes, good, go. Hydrocele. Arthritis, epididymitis, arthritis, ovarian cyst, facial neuralgia, serous cyst of the vagina, then neuralgias, ciliary neuralgia, good, agree. Vertigo, headache, rheumatism, okay, leantric stools, diarrhea, leantric stools, these are few conditions, uh, chorea, these are few conditions. Chorea, gout, I mean diarrhea, the Lord hydrocele, leantic stools, lumbago, neuralgia, rheumatism, ovarian cyst, sprain, toothache, cyst in vagina, testis affections of. This I have taken from Clark, beautiful book. Okay. So this I have taken, the clinical indications I have taken from Clark. Hmm? Huh? So this I am not very sure, at least from what I learned, okay, from the books that I referred, could not find epistaxis. Let me check. Because it's Dr. Clark was given, if he has given then there will be some meaning. 
So must be will have to check in clerk. What is that? Dodo Dunbar has got offer when it comes to UPS taxes. So as an assignment, we will just try to check and understand. Next class, we will try to explore UPS taxes. Okay. Memory, we we spoke. What is it that they start losing word while talking? They not get the right word. They start word hunting. We saw that. Okay. Similarly, it's also given spleen, pain in spleen, tonight tinnitus, earache. Okay. Coriza. Yeah, bone pains we saw. What was the specialty? In spots. Bone pains in spots. Very very characteristic. Clear? Okay. Any quick questions? Go to the end. Hope for uh, your own justice, you know, the remedy and few comparisons for a fine day student. Done? So next class uh, we will take up another uh, small remedy. As I was trying to tell you, zincum is a remedy that is in my uh, list. Okay? I will finish with small remedies first so that we can focus on 3-4 hours exclusively for zincum. Hmm? Okay? Clear? Chala, thank you.